basically what I'm gonna show y'all is a week's worth of sourcing vintage clothes. I'm locked in. Look at this, super sick. Here we are, y'all. Number four on the list. I don't know how I'm not first, but you know, we'll take four. Y'all just woke up from a super solid nap, literally just on the side of the road or inside of the house. Ooh, I feel slumped, but you know, I'm locked in, all right? I'm locked in. I was debating of going to go get a Starbucks matcha because I'm taking a little break from coffee right now, but I was like, you know what? I'll save the Starbucks matcha for after, a little celebratory if I find some good stuff. I'll probably get it regardless, but who I have not been to a sale in like a couple months. It's been a while. I mean, I've been to like a couple, but I went late and wasn't even really trying, but last time I went early to an estate sale like this has been a couple months. And so I'm hoping this one pans out. I got fourth on the list. I don't know how. Anywho, this is the breakfast, y'all. Coconut water, the goat, uh, mango habanero, beef jerky. Yeah, y'all, it's been dry at the thrifts, at the bins. And so, it's a good little switch up, you know? You can only do the same thing over and over, daily, daily, daily. It's good to have that daily thing, but it's good to switch it up also. That's why I'm happy that I'm here. Hopefully I come away with some goodies. Wow, this is really good. Yo, we are getting close to that time. Streets is packed. <laughs> lock it in, Mickey, lock it in. Imagine there's nothing there. I'm just hyping it up. <laughs> that would be the game though. That would be the game. You just never know. But I'm about to go in there. Wish me luck. Hopefully I'm back to show y'all some goodies. Going iPhone with it for this. Got some goodies. Sixty. So twenty, twenty, 20 sixty. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. It was definitely worth it, y'all. Kind of tax, but you know, we'll take it. Look at this. Actually, some goodies. I'm not mad at the price I got. I'm not mad. I am not mad. I'm gonna show y'all what I got, but first. Let's get that matcha. Yeah, yeah, look at all these people, bro. Literally crazy, just wait. Wait, 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 wait. It'll keep wrapping around, it'll keep wrapping around. People on that street, and then all across this street. That's crazy. What in the rich people <laughs> is this place for coffee? It's like a gated community for coffee. How you doing, man? Do you guys have matcha? Yeah, we have matcha. Okay, can I do an iced matcha? Cool, thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Tastes so rich. This area, y'all, is literally filled with like people who golf for fun. Everyone in this little area wears like that. I don't know if you guys can get this visual. It's like a white shirt underneath and then a fleece or a cutoff vest, and then chinos, and then loafers. <laughs> Can you guys get the imagery? I mean, I'd love to live here one of these days, and I will. Forgot to record it, but your boy chefed it up. You see this? A little medium rare. Got eggs, pickled onions. How's that look? No, not good. If y'all are new here, or if you've been watching for a little bit, I've been teasing a little bit, but we are in the process of creating a vintage website. Shout out to the Yonce. She's doing the photography, doing all that good stuff. And we're doing it in the garage. You know, you gotta get it done somehow. So right now we're just doing a little behind the scenes of, uh, or I'm showing y'all behind the scenes, taking flicks, what it looks like. And yeah, soon in about month-ish, hopefully, we're gonna get it up and running and y'all can support and buy some vintage from your boy anywhere in the world. It would mean the world, okay? 
But like I said, this is just between me and you. I haven't even told IG this, all right? So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned, and uh, let's keep this between us, okay? And then I'll make it public on IG. So follow me on there too, Miguel V. Patron. And yeah, we're gonna change the vintage name and all that good stuff. But this is the process. Let me fix the arms too. So, just try to. See all this though? Now I gotta measure this. She's taking the flicks. I'm doing the measurements. That's the worst about online. <laughs> Top of the freaking morning, y'all. We are back again, two days in a row. I know I haven't showed y'all the first day's uh, pickups. I will, I promise you, all right? But I need to cook again today. But yeah, popped out again to another estate sale. This one's more so, I think, like 90s stuff. Um, but I think it'll also be military stuff, so I'm hoping that I get a good assortment of different things from different eras, just for some good restock. But yeah, back, y'all know the deal. Jerky, water. Bought the pillow this time, but I'm not really that sleepy. I am currently third in line, so yesterday I was fourth in line. But this time, the people ahead of me are actually like people that are looking for the same, similar thing. So we'll see though, we'll see. I think I can still be able to cook it in. This is all I got. That was gonna be a lot more, but San Diego State Aztecs on zone sick. I might leave this guy. This old little ironing board, it's gonna look sick. Well, alrighty. That one was kind of underwhelming. I said I was gonna get the little ironing board, but I set it up and it was actually snapped in half. So that was not gonna work. So I just walked away with this San Diego State hat. You know, beggars can't be choosers. I'll take it. I'm happy with this. I am not mad. This one's sick. I don't know if it's like a faded black or if it's a brown, but um, yeah, I'm happy with it. This just goes to show y'all that sometimes it doesn't always hit, all right? You just gotta be grateful, ride the waves. It's a roller coaster of a job. And so, you know, we roll with the punches. Yesterday was a good day. Today was a pretty underwhelming, but still it was fun nonetheless. But you know, we'll take it, we'll take it. So while the first estate sale this morning was underwhelming, ended up going to one close by to where I was at already, and y'all kind of hit. Spent a hundred bucks, got a good handful of stuff, and it was honestly a pleasant surprise because none of the stuff was photographed. It was a pleasant surprise given I was number 14 on the list because obviously I come late. Y'all, I almost left too. Cause they did the first 10 only and then the rest of us had to wait until there was another helper that was late, arrived. And so literally we were waiting for the second worker for like almost 10 minutes. And I was like, yo, like the stuff's getting cooked. Like it's gone because the people up front look like they were into vintage clothes. But then as soon as I come in, go into the room, untouched. None of the people that had gone there before me I touched it, and so I'll call today a success. This is literally better than going to the thrifts in the bins because like, it has been dry. Oh, y'all are twerking all over the place. And then silly old me, I forgot my uh, my chair that I was sitting on at the first estate sale this morning. So I had to drive back there, pick it up, thought it was gonna be gone. Silly Miggy! $40. <laughs> Did it say Turkish eggs with steak? What is this? Salad, cilantro. Oh my gosh, chili onion crunch. All right, y'all, here we are. Recap of everything I picked up. Basically, what I'm gonna be showing y'all is a week's worth of sourcing for vintage clothes. Before we fully get into the haul though, y'all, if y'all made it this far, make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow me on IG, Miguel V. Patron. Y'all know the deal. Like I mentioned heavily in this video, the normal spots, the bins has not been hitting. Honestly, like, it's pretty, pretty deflating sometimes, but got a cool thing going on with one of my homies there, Claire. Um, basically when I find things that she likes, she'll trade me items that I like that she finds. And so actually when I was at my first estate sale this week, she found a bunch of goodies for me, a bunch of 70s tops. That's the first round of things I'm gonna show you on this week's haul. Here we are. Nothing crazy, but just some cool like 70s tops. Like I said, I'm gonna try to go through it quick. Nice little polo JCPenney joint, another polo. 70s Kmart. I like the stripes on this guy. Another one of those color block polo things. 
Boom. This one's cool, velour material. I love the collar and the two pockets in the front right there. But the kind of dilemma I'm kind of going through right now is trying to figure out which items I'm gonna sell online or which items I'm gonna sell in person just because I wanna curate a good amount of stuff and the right kind of items for online for y'all to shop. But then I also wanna have a good amount of stuff to sell in person. The thing with San Diego though is this one's really pretty. It's a Brentwood, Brentwood tag on this joint. The thing with San Diego is like these kind of items like 70s, 80s, or even older kind of clothing like don't sell as well. The 90s, Y2K stuff, those are the kind of items that sell well. So I think I'm gonna kind of lean towards that route of selling those kind of items for in person and then these kind of items and a little bit older stuff that I like to sell and like to have and keep and wear for myself. Those are the items that I'm gonna curate for online, I believe. This one might be a keeper, a little 70s orange dress up shirt obviously needs a little ironing guess stripe button up boom and then we're gonna get into the estate sale finds so this morning the first stop that's all i got super sick though 12 bucks as you guys can see san diego state super pretty let me know if y'all need it boom and then the second stop this morning found a few of these ron john 80 shirts boom ron john boom ron john actually no this one's hawaiian a little hawaii in the back boom ron john long sleeve another ron john short sleeve and then a few pairs of pants oh i didn't even know these were lees but you see in the button right there lee i like the back pockets on this guy this one's got like a flare fit to it what size are these ah i would say these are size 32 and then a couple other Lees from that same era. This one's a nice dark wash, nice fades. This one's a nice little boot cut joint. Boom, nice fades in the front, bam, bam. And I got this ski little puffer joint. I'm going snowboarding at the end of this month, so I might keep this for the time being, for the personal, and then sell it after. I like the colors on this guy. A little black, a little gray, a little white stitching. I've never seen this tag, but made in Taiwan. It's got a nice fit and shape to it. Two front pockets right there. Actually four, slip your hands right there. Got pockets inside right here. Boom, nice green color. I love these patterns that they used to do in like the 70s, 80s. I don't know what it's called, but basically it just seems like there's a bunch of layers of denim together, but it's just the way they stitched it, I think. Just a nice little over shirt, another t-shirt right here. Colorado University, I think this one's on the velvet sheen. Yeah, faded out velvet sheen, but nice little ringer. And they got this camo hunting vest. I don't even know why I got this, but just thought it was cool. It's like five bucks. This one's pretty. Nice little baby blue sweat. Early 70s, maybe late 60s. And I got a couple sets of these hunting gear. Got this camo joint right here. Top, pants, and then this pattern of camo. Honestly, looks a lot better to me. Boom, boom. This one's a Kmart joint. There's a tag, there's a tag. The pants are nice. I don't know if I'm gonna sell these sets like together separately. Probably would make sense to sell it together, right? So not bad for a hundred bucks, a whole set of goodies. But to yesterday's sale, which was I think a lot better. Nice little thermal, 70s sweatshirt, Vassar. Oh, and this nice little 90s cat tee. Meow. And we got this all over print Disney shirt. What else, what else did we got? Seoul Korea, boom. If you think you're smart, thank a teacher. V-neck, and I got three of these guys. Same exact shirt, three of them, boom, boom. Nice yellow and blue, yellow and blue. Tag got ripped off, but I think it's like a 60, 70 shirt. I think, okay, I think, don't quote me. And then this striped knit is like super pretty in my opinion. The two pockets, I don't know if it was handmade, I don't think so. There's a tag on here. Made in Mexico for sure, I think. The Senado por Patrice. Look how pretty it looks, that brown striper. And we got this blank 70s zip up, boom. Nice big size. And then this color is absolutely gorgeous. I wish this was a little bit bigger so it'd fit me, but come on now, look at this color. Boom, fit a girl nicely, nice fade to it. Look at the actual original color, boom. And fade it out to, I don't know if you can even tell on camera, but nice little fading on there. And then to my two favorites, this champion sweatshirt from the 60s. I think they over dyed this red though, because if you look at the tag, but yeah, you can see it's like a 60s champion tag. Super nice, like a medium. Catela Knights. My favorite, because you don't come across it often, 
It's this black sweat from the 50s, 60s as well. Look at this, super sick. And this one's like a large, good big size look. You can tell, boom. The front says Sigmar GAAA. And it's got the littlest, tiniest hint of chain stitching right there. I hope you guys can see. Boom, there you can see a little tiniest hint of a chain stitch. It says Mrs. F. I don't know who that is, but absolutely beautiful. And so yeah, y'all, that was this week's uh, haul. And honestly, that's a lot better than my usual weeks. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I don't wanna try to act like the weeks are always this solid because I would say three out of four weeks of the month, they're not good. <laughs> it's like a fraction of this in terms of quality and quantity. And so I'm glad that I was able to get this stuff because Lord knows I need it for the restock and for the website coming up. But yeah, just wanna be transparent with y'all and let y'all know that this job is like this. Boom, boom, and a boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so dumb. But yeah, weeks ain't always like that, but I'm super grateful that this week was a lot better than usual. If there's something that y'all are super interested in, feel free to comment down below, follow me on IG. DM me or something, but yeah, I appreciate y'all so much. If y'all made it this far, like I said, hit the like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know what it is. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all later. Tee. The way that you walk in the room, girl, you're making it harder to function. Step on the scene, you're looking at me, and my heart started jumping. And they'll never get it, cause baby, they think it's just casual loving.